Say hi, Kama. <laughs> So today is Sunday, I came back from hall. Wait, I have a microphone, what am I doing? So today my godparents sent me back to hall and um, and before they brought me back to NTU, they actually wanted to show me some really cool coffee place. It's called Suzuki Coffee. I have the coffee that I got from just now here. Yeah, and um, it's actually quite a cool spot and it's really, really hipster. And I thought the place seemed kind of cool, so I wanted to make a short little video just telling you guys about it. It's really close to my university, I didn't even know it existed before this. But then um, my godparents told me, so I was like, ooh, cool. I think it's a really cool date spot if you guys ever want to go. <laughs> Wait, f wait, what am I saying? Ah, I'm so stupid. Yeah, so anyways, they sell like uh, coffee and tea, specifically Japanese coffee and tea. So I bought their hoji cha. Yeah, it comes with red beans or without red beans. It's, it's actually pretty good, <laughs> not gonna lie. One little gripe that I have with it is like, they're gonna put red beans inside here, but like the straw is so small, the red beans can't go through it, so it's a bit sad. So I'm squishing all the red beans right now. They sell coffee beans and tea. Tea, tea leaves? P powder? I, I, I don't know how tea is made. Yeah, so they sell like your coffee and your tea stuff there too. Like they sell their own beans. And my godmom said that you can even find their beans and coffee in ground form in cold storage or one of the supermarkets in Singapore. Quite cool. Yeah, uh, it's a bit pricey. I think each of the drinks was like $10, 7 to $10. But it tastes pretty good. And it's a really cool spot. Like, you're out in the middle of nowhere in an industrial estate. If you guys are nearby, you guys can come check out their factory slash cafe area in the middle of I don't know where. I'll put the address over here. Here. <laughs> it's really close by. I think it's quite close to Chinese gardens. And you guys can take one of the buses there. I think it's 79 to bring you to the place. There's like a lot of factories there. The place is a bit ulu, but uh, I think it's still quite a cool spot. Yeah, so if you're nearby in the east... Which side of Singapore? Uh, okay, wait, I think this is the west side of Singapore. Okay, so if you're in the west side of Singapore, you guys should come here and check it out. It's a, it's a really edgy hipster spot. Not really, it's not edgy, but it's a nice coffee place if you're... Uh, if you're into caffeine, you know. I'm not really into coffee or tea, but it tastes pretty good. If you're in NTU, bring like a butt ton of your friends and like take a grab there. It's really close to NTU. I think it's like a 10 minute drive. Yeah, so you guys can just like carpool, go there. Um, that's it. I just want to make a short video because it's like a cool spot and I don't think a lot of people know about it. So yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye bye. Please, please go. Please, please. Yeah, look at my coffee. Woo, look at my coffee. Woo, Suzuki. <laughs> the coffee is so good. Wait, I'm not even drinking coffee. I got the hoochie chat.